Mm. Automatic, instantaneous forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Where was I? Um, oh yeah, these two diamond-eyed enlightened horses appear. Which suggests we might be going somewhere because the goddess and I have kind of gotten stuck on each other so much that we keep interpenetrating our spheres of white light, stuck in the meadow, making cosmic love over and over. Yeah. Oh. Which causes my <laughs> lascivious meditations to extend into the two to three hour range. <laughs> yeah, no, it's so fun, <laughs> so, so fun. Uh, the horses say to us, Omar wants us to give you the ride of your life to a far out groovy party. <laughs> talk about a groovy translation job. The, 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 these horses talk like uh, San Francisco hippies. Meet you at Haight-Ashbury. And then we'll go up to your place and take some <laughs> needlepoint masculine. And just... Oh, <clears throat> let's see here. Um, you know, these horses aren't like earth horses. You know, for for one thing, they don't touch any kind of ground or foundation of anything else. They just kind of float above whatever surface might be beneath them at the time, which makes for a real smooth ride. Yeah, we gallop off, huh? Yeah, that's when what? A different kind of thing kicks in for the first time in my life, uh, you know, since birth. Thanks, Mom and Dad. You know, I've been used to having two eyes, okay? Two eyes in the head <clears throat> looking forward to life on Earth. And even during my out-of-body experiences, my light body, you know, this celestial cosmic prince, <laughs> body has two eyes only. Yeah, okay. So what? Isn't that what eyes do? Yeah. Oh. You know, I'm watching myself in all of this as if I were sitting in a dark theater, cinema house, seeing myself acting in a film. There he goes, huh? It's that, it's that detached. The different dimensions, huh? Mm. I often, I am witnessing my uh, cosmic light body from a short distance away. But now, riding over that astral ocean <laughs> on cosmic enlightened horses, my point of view multiplies into having about a dozen pairs of eyes. You know, like in those Alex Gray paintings, eyes all over the place. What's with all the eyes? Well, this is what it's, yeah, uh, I'm experiencing this. Uh, twelve sets of eyes. Seeing the scene in twelve different speeds and points of view, different vantage points. Uh, for instance, when the goddess touches her hair and, you know, thousands of rays of golden light shoot out of her ethereal crown chakra. Oh, this might take in earth time like a few seconds. You know, she just said, uh, you know, touch her hair. Well, from another set of eyes, it's in such ultra slow motion that this same movement it's like, takes two centuries. You know, I have this much uh, 
uh, timelessness, really, uh, to supra microscopically enjoy this incredible casual act of the goddess touching her hair. And that leaves 10 other pair of eyes from 10 other points of view in 10 other speeds. The same single act. Well, just let me tell you, having a dozen pairs of eyes takes a little bit of getting used to. Um, but soon I am tripping out on this new faculty with extreme bliss. <laughs> yeah. Uh, watching two enlightened horses running like the wind over deep purple scintillating ocean. You know, we left land a long time ago. Earth land. <laughs> Crystal particles of light. <laughs> wow. You know, I'm trying to compare it. Earthy, we got to compare it to something they've experienced on Earth. Uh, Sunshine Barrel, California, LSD in the day. Okay. Uh, and what the kids are doing now all over the planet. Uh, 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 vaping? Dimethyltryptamine, DMT. <laughs> is the only possible comparison between this extraterrestrial, atheogen free happening, which is deeper, more exhilarating, <sighs> richer. And you remember everything about it. It's not like, what happened, you know, on that 2CB trip two weeks ago. No, you remember every little detail. The next night, shh, back to the horses, yeah, ride and fly some more. Uh, the difference tonight, goddess, Earth and I transform into spheres of white light hovering slightly above the backs of the horses. Mm -hmm. Mere foreplay to a single sphere of lust, cosmic intercourse, sexual sizzling sphering each other. Once again. But the next night, okay. Well, in Earth time, the next night, okay. Mm. We fly to the far end of the cosmic ocean. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, no. It's extremely foggy on the coast. Oh. That's when Omar... An old saint welcomes us, and he's holding up a glass-hooded alchemo shaman lantern. This guy looks Sufi. Well, yeah. Uh, at least he's got a long white beard. Very mellow. Uh-huh. I mean, rooming in him could, you know, hang out any time. Uh, and for sure, yeah, he's got a long white beard, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we say goodbye to our enlightened horses. <laughs> and they spirit off. Dense fog. Mm -hmm. Cosmic scene in another dimension. It's got dense fog. Omar leads us down. Coastal cliff away from the ocean into the interior. And when we get below the fog line, we come onto this sparkling, scintillating green valley. <laughs> wow. Bubbling brook, beautiful blue bubbling brook meandering through the green, intense green valley. 
and gathered before a banquet table, huge banquet table, are the greatest yogis and yoginis in spiritual history. All the traditions, uh, Christ, Mohammed, Buddha, uh, Shiva, Vishnu, uh, the gods and goddesses. Yeah, mainly the Hindu vibe. This is the banquet kind of vibe. Hindu. Uh, and coming up the huge banquet table with the mandarins of spiritual history, like <laughs> having fun around it. Uh, only what? Only come up to the ankles of a like skyscraper god Vishnu, twenty stories high. <laughs> wow. Yeah, the banquet table only comes up to Vishnu's ankles, skyscraper lord, looming, beaming, protecting. Vishnu's easy to hang out with, like Ganesha. You need some help? Hey, Vishnu, he's your good friend. Yeah. Um, well, this god is fanning out instruments instruments and weapons, thousands of them. <laughs> Goddess and I are liking this. And uh, this is a kind of party, you know, it's so far out we couldn't even dream of this kind of a party. Well, Goddess Earthy, <laughs> social hit at the party. I mean, she's just interdimensional, babe of the ages. Hey, hi, Jesus. What's up? <laughs> Give me five, Muhammad. <laughs> you want to meditate on my navel, Buddha? Uh, yeah, chatting, laughing with the mandarins of spiritual cosmic earth history. This is just like a natural. Well, that's when Omar comes up to me and he says, look, uh, I want to turn you on to a new trip that's going to blow your life away. So just follow me. Leave the goddess here in the, you know, fun of the cosmic party. She's fine. Yeah. And uh, a new trip. You know what? I'm really a sucker for two things in life. Home-cooked meal. Give me a home-cooked meal. Anybody. And um, a virgin trail. Love new trails. Give me something different. Well, this, <laughs> this is more than different. Okay, so I follow Omar. What's that kind of spooky... To these spooky, twisty oak trees, Spanish moss hanging everywhere, kind of gloomy, dark, claustrophobic, until we come, come up out of there, above that spooky realm, into the, on top of the primal hill. Whew, uh, way higher than mine, just. And from the hilltop, the sky is pitch black hmm. with no starlight. But in the space sky, about what? Just two kilometers above us, above the primal hill, is the source. Look at to a young fellow like me. I haven't been to too many worlds ever. Okay. Uh, the source. I'm trying to match it with something I can relate to. It looks kind of like the sun, the earth sun, but if the sun were just uh, like two kilometers above the surface of the planet and the sky was dark all around it, and the source is so big and Omar and I are so close that we cannot see the whole thing in perspective. 
from this close distance. We can only see the small curved part of it that is closest to our faces. Hmm. But this sun likes us. It's not hot or anything. I mean, we're, we bathe in a cool, breezy air. <sighs> Being face to face with the source of creation is the trippiest in my life. Trippiest scene. I mean, I'm not seeing this like a movie anymore. All my senses of my light body are involved and reacting to this awesome panorama of the cosmos. I have no idea where Earth is from here. Doesn't really matter. Uh, or how many dimensions are interspersed between whatever. Wow, spearing down from the source infinite rays of light, the primal hill taking millions of spears of light from the source, the universal source beaming down all new forms within these translucent tinted rays. Hmm. Wow. Uh, extremely texture laden too like the lovely light in the Greek islands. Yeah. Well, look, because the primal hill is so snugged up to the source of all creation, the hill uh, is taking infinite spears of light from the source. The source beams down all new forms within these translucent rays these tinted rays simultaneously sucking up all dead forms within the same rays. Incredible sight. Oh, and this baby's coming down. Do the primal till. You know, new plant life, inventions, newly created man made goods, everything just created. <laughs>